Hey guys, I'm LB, and I've been teasing this for a long time. Many people have wanted me to play this. We are going to play the Talos Principle. Real quick, I want to make sure the volume is not too overpowering, because... Let's put it... there. I just wanted to have the intro sequence there be full volume. I didn't know if the volume would affect it there or not. But, let's begin. I've never played this. I've seen the demo, but, uh... I think I've heard that the demo, like, you can get something in it that affects the actual game itself as well. And there's also, like, another game called, uh... What is it? Something of Elohim? Something like that? Anyway... Uh, let's- let's just play the main game and- and see what happens. I know very little about this game, I just know it's a puzzle game, and that it's- it's got a cool robot that you play as, and that reality might not be what you think it is, or something like that. I set all the graphics I could to the lowest setting, so hopefully we don't get too much frame rate stuttering. Okay, how are the field of view seems a bit Behold, odd. child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. I might be worthy, but the field of view is horrible right now. Uh, was that in... Was that in here? 75, let's... let's... Is that really? Let me... let me turn this up some, then. I just feel like I'm really zoomed in for some reason. This does not seem right to me. Shouldn't it... Shouldn't it be... Okay, this is better. I think we'll keep it at 90 for now. This is an interesting place, but yeah, I have all the graphics on the lowest settings because I don't want to deal with frame rate stuttering. I would rather have a smooth frame rate than beautiful graphics. Like, beautiful graphics, they don't really mean that much to me. I just want the game to play well. Interesting. This looks like a fizzler. Oh yes, if this game has fizzlers, that makes me very happy. Oh yeah, I did- I did see either Vertigo or Quick Save Dave play the- some of the demo, I believe. Forgot about that. Left click, left click. Okay, so it's a toggle. Ah, deactivates fizzlers. Oh, yeah. So, it moves me over to it to take it, so I can't take it across the filler with me. Interesting. Got another fizzler here? Eye candy, what is that thing? Is this... Is that gonna hurt me? Will that hurt me? Oh yes, that does hurt me. Interesting. Okay, so... There's enemies in this game. I was not expecting that at all. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Will this affect the enemy? Does not look like it. Unless... 
I have to be, like, right up against it when I place it? Guess not? I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but it's obviously not the right thing. Oh, I have to aim at it. Duh, that would... Wait, I can just do that from any distance? Interesting. But it won't actually let me take it... Yeah... So I have to leave it here, at the very least. What is... Oh, I said another thing that's gonna kill me. Really? I wonder... If I do that... Aha! I have both of them with me now, or at least I have an extra one anyway. way back. Oh no! I didn't actually want to go over her. Well, uh, I think we're gonna have to restart, unless I can ninja my way past this thing. Nope, cannot. Well, let's try this one more time. Did not realize it was actually going to send me back. got an ex our extra jammer. We are not going to climb that ladder this time. Interesting. Lots of areas that I can't seem to get into. At least not yet. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come, and attain eternal life. Achievement unlocked. Logic Tech, okay. Let's see... I find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works, and I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other, lest I fall through the floor. <laughs> I like the version numbers, that's funny. Have I been missing these? Like, I hope that's the first one, because uh, otherwise I have missed some. I guess this is the hub world? I bet that's why that ladder was there, is because you can restart the puzzle that way. Ah, yes. Tetris pieces. For the puzzles. Can I step in? Yeah, I can walk in this water. Nice. Hmm, where to go first, though? I can't take. I'm pretty sure I cannot take this jammer through the fizzler here. And I can't jam it. Yeah. What happens if I try to walk through this? Yeah, I just leave it there. Okay. I was afraid they would destroy it, but that's good to know, at least. Oh, it's interesting. It draws... Okay, so yeah, it's telling me that I need the pieces from these puzzle areas to proceed. And this is where I get said pieces. What does this sign say? All three. Wait, what? But that's more pieces than. Is that more pieces than I need? Because isn't there one over here? Strange. Okay, well, let's go over here first. Look, well, like so there's even more. Is there gonna be like multiple doors or something? I don't know. 
Uh, we'll put our, our, our little jammer dude right there. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Move faster by holding left shift. Ooh, that's good to know. Thank you. Wait, did it? Okay, so yeah. I wanted to go this one first, and I completely didn't. Uh, people. I think I see where this is going. Yeah, okay. That's just telling you that you can do it from any distance. So... I know. Duh, duh, duh. Once I have, uh... Oh, we'll jam that. And then we'll use this guy to jam the other one. Come on. Jam, please. Thank you. Ta-da! Don't even have to do anything special to leave. You will not need this sigil to open the gate to my temple, but it may serve you in times to come. Okay, so here next. Hmm, that one's got enemies in it. Let's go here first. So it's also got enemies in it. Sigil is needed. But you know me, I'm gonna go above and beyond. Let's see. I like how they start off with fizzler puzzles. That's that's kinda cool. Nothing in here, it looks like. Wait, unless one of these days there's gonna be a QR code in one of these rooms and I'm just gonna completely miss it. Awesome. I wonder if there's a way to deactivate these ones as well, because like they're they're levitating, so they don't really have like wires on them, right?
My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna do this. My one. child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Yeah, but I choose now. Trapped in there now. Awesome. But I just jam you. Oh no, I can't. This works. Oh well. You are most diligent. <laughs> Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. Alright. I got my little jammer with me. Let's, uh... Let's... Uh... Okay. So it's kinda like... Witness. Oh no, it's, this can't flip though, so that's not gonna work. That'll work. Come on. There we go. Is this beeping? I think this thing's beeping at me anyway. Okay, so it must not be a Windows machine, then. <laughs> uh... There's no way to list contents of a directory? Maybe list does that? Let's open... welcome. Let's see. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here. But this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this. But as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. Uh... Can I scroll? Ah yes, I can scroll. Let's do this, Nadia. Didn't realize there was a scroll bar. What about... figure it out? The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young, you've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad.
What about Athena 6? Chapter 6? Of what? Blah did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into this strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles... Blah, gazing upon the stars and wept. So looks like there's some corruption. But, it also looks like this is the end of the episode, so... As always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode of The Talos Principle. Goodbye!